these charts should ring some alarm bells with Audi. So what are we looking at? Basically at the top it is the registrations, cumulative registrations of the NEO ES8 in Norway versus on the bottom here that's actually the registrations for the Audi e-tron also in Norway. And for each of them, for each of these models, what you have here are cumulative graphs, um, lines actually, so the light blue here, that one is for 2021, so last year, and then for this year, this, this line here, um, you can see for the ES8 that, well, last year the, the curve was pretty flat, right? And then only starting from October, it was going up more significantly ending up at around 200 registr um, registrations cumulative, so meaning um, adding up over time. But then for 2020, um, you see that this is, um, yeah, graph and line is going up more continuously and is already at more than 450 um, at yeah um, June here. So, well, first of all, we can see that um, the ES8 um, registrations have uh, yeah, kind of accelerated now. Of course, they are still not super high, but you also need to recognize that, of course, um, NEO is new in this country and also they have not a very established dealer or um, delivery network yet. I also made actually one video about the fact that there has been a significant delay also in their um, uh, delivery center in, in uh, Norway. They now have opened it just very recently. And I'm seeing actually like the recent numbers are really looking quite good, like on a daily basis. Sometimes I think today was nine uh, ES8 registered. So um, of course not very huge numbers net uh, yet, but um, I think, um, yeah, certainly we see this improvement here, especially on a year over year basis, right? And then if we look at um, Audi in comparison, so that's the graph here on the lower side. Let me give this straight for you here. Um, so what you can see here is um, the latest figures are actually this line uh, at the very bottom here. So you can see that's actually the contrary effect that over time, or at least uh, this year, the registrations for the Audi e-tron have been significantly lower than last year in Norway and even uh, than the year before, actually, where they had kind of a, a nicer ramp up. And so I'm not attributing this effect um, particularly to NEO. However, certainly we can say that the e-tron registrations in Norway by Audi are going down. And well, you, you see those contrasting effects uh, while NEO is doing pretty well and currently scaling up here. It seems like for Audi, things are going a little bit south, right? And why should this, of course, be an issue for Audi? Well, because, um, yeah, NEO, of course, is fishing in the home turf here uh, for Audi, uh, which has a great dealership um, presence in, in all over Europe, basically. And, uh, yeah, years of brand uh, in, in the market like Norway, of course. And why do you see a significant... Um, decline of um, cumulative registrations here. This should be really worrying. It could also be, of course, other effects. Uh, maybe um, Audi is prioritizing more some um, internal combustion engine cars right now. It could also be the Tesla effect, of course. The Model Y has now um, also arrived. And so I'm not attributing this to NEO specifically, but certainly they are in a similar customer group. And now, um, yeah, NEO hasn't really you know, started to ramp up here in, in Europe and um, particularly um, yeah, in this customer segment um, has a much more legacy to build and actually their, their brand can now actually grow much further still from this very, very tiny base, right? And so, yeah, this is something which should worry Audi, I would say, and maybe some other um, uh, car manufacturers there. And uh, it's give, uh, yeah, it's kind of giving us a little insight into hopefully what's going to happen with NEO when they enter more countries. Um, yeah, one le learning and takeaway is, of course, also that in the first year, yeah, don't expect too much. I think I, I've been actually personally too bullish also on NEO in the very beginning of what they would do in Norway. Um, I thought like they would send um, ships in the size of Tesla, like 4,000 cars per shipment. That clearly was not the case. 
but um, now over time we are getting more and more data here. So that's quite interesting to see. Um, should yeah, should be watching this going forward. Let me know down in the comments what you think is um, the effect between Neo and Audi here. Do you have other explanations for that? and how you see this um, developing and progressing over time and going forward. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe, like and share and see you in the next one.